Welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z and today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicharrona de pollo. And I am super excited to make this dish for you because when I made my 5k giveaway video, I asked you to let me know what your favorite video was and a bunch of you said that my Dominican fried chicken video was your favorite. So I knew right then and there that I had to make the other kind of Dominican fried chicken, which is this dish right here. Now, there are a ton of similarities between this recipe and my Dominican fried chicken recipe, but one of the biggest differences is that I'm going to be using flour to fry the chicken. And this is going to be one of the very few times you actually see me use flour to fry chicken because Dominicans typically just like to season the chicken let it rest and then throw it into the fryer. And like I mentioned in my Dominican fried chicken video, Dominicans fry chicken like no one else. So if you haven't yet tried it, be sure to do so. Now, before we jump into this recipe, I also wanna say that this recipe is really special to me and that's because it's also really similar to my Brittany recipe and my fried pork chop recipe, which is also one of your favorites. So if you notice some similarities and some common themes in Dominican cuisine, then hey, big thumbs up to you. Now, I'm hungry, like always. This is almost like a broken record, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna jump right in by brining our chicken with some white vinegar, some cold water, and a good amount of salt. And we're gonna mix that in until it's nice and well combined. Now, I like brining my meat anytime I'm frying it because it's gonna make sure that my meat comes out super juicy and super tasty. And we're gonna brine this for about 30 minutes to an hour, and I like to do this ahead of time. And afterwards, I drain it, and then I season it with some adobo, some Dominican oregano, which seriously makes all the difference in this dish, some fresh thyme, some little bit of cumin, sazon con achiote, and freshly smashed garlic, which is also the key to making sure that this dish comes out over the top delicious. Now, if you don't have regular garlic or fresh garlic, then garlic powder will also do. And now we're going to add the star of the show, which funny enough is the lime. Dominican fried chicken is characterized by that delicious, acidic, lemony taste and fresh limes is really going to take this dish from the basic level to the mega delicious oh my god level. And now we're going to mix it in until it's well combined and we're going to let that marinate for at the very least an hour or even overnight. So we're going to set it aside and now we're going to season our flour. So I'm using all-purpose flour and I encourage you guys to do the same thing. And we're gonna season it with a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and a touch of adobo, which is actually optional here. And we're gonna mix it in until it's well combined. We wanna make sure that that flour is really well seasoned, which is another trick for whenever you're frying any kind of food with flour. I always cringe when I see people forget to season their flour because hey, that's a part of the dish, so we can't forget that. Now we're going to very gently take some chicken and we're going to dust it with the flour. And you wanna make sure that that chicken is covered on every single side and that there is no chicken peeking through. And then afterwards, we're gonna very gently just dust off the excess flour. And we're gonna repeat this step until all the chicken is covered in flour. Now, fun fact, Dominicans actually don't use flour to fry a lot of their meats except when they're making this dish. And as a force of habit, I kind of do the same thing. Even if I'm frying chicken that's not a Dominican recipe and, and the recipe calls for me to use flour, I will literally think twice. So let me know if you guys do the same thing. Now, while I'm dusting those final pieces of chicken, I'm actually also warming up the oil. And you want the oil to come up to about 350 degrees or till it's practically pretty hot. And then we're gonna very gently add the chicken in one by one. Now the key to frying chicken crispy each and every single time is to not overcrowd your pot. Because when you overcrowd your pot, you actually lower the temperature of the oil, which ends up leaving you with an oily, goopy mess, which is never delicious. Now, once your chicken is nice and golden, we're gonna take them out and drain the excess oil onto a paper towel.
and at the very end we're going to do my favorite part which is squeezing a freshly squeezed lime over top of it which is one of my favorite things on earth now you can also enjoy this with a little bit of hot sauce if you want to give it an extra kick if you have any questions follow me on social media or visit my website and i can't wait to see you next week when i have an all new video buen provecho guys